The gray line, that wonderful propagation time at dawn and dusk, when the ionosphere of the Earth is going through a change. You know, it goes from the D, E, F1, and F2 layer during the day down into two layers, just the E and the F layer. Well, when this thing is going through its change at dawn and dusk, when the Earth is either leaving daylight and going into darkness or vice versa, there's a lot going on right there at that time of day that really, if, if it affects HF propagation big time. You know, it's said that it really affects it more below 10 megahertz, which for us is 160 or 80 or 40 meters. But you know, one thing I've noticed uh, now that I'm here, I've been working and operating here in the northern reaches of Central Europe in Poland and operating as SP stroke K4 OGO up near the Baltic. You know, over my time here, I've really noticed that it, this does have quite an effect on the higher HF bands as well. And I've really experienced this, and it's a lot different than what I experience down on, in the southeastern United States where, where I normally operate from. Well, I've conducted a, an experiment here recently, and I want to share it with you. Stick around. an American ham radio operator from the southeast part of the United States, there's an experience I'm going through right now that I've never seen before. And that's a night where it never gets completely dark. Here in the northern reaches of Central Europe up near the Baltic Sea here in Poland, we go through a little phase here right around the solstice in the summertime where it never gets completely dark. I mean, it's just called nautical twilight, which means we're in the gray line almost all night or pretty close to it. So I, I've been getting up in the mornings before I go to work, and, I, and I've been working some incredible DX over to North America, you know, Canada, United States, out into the Dakotas when we're both in the gray line. And I was like, this is pretty cool. Well, I've never really stayed up late, per se, uh, on one of these nights and, saw, and to see what it would happen as the gray line was first starting here. And with, with um, a weekend here and what's been going on, I figured I'd do a little experimenting and, and try it out. So what should happen would be me having the gray line going down into basically the west coast of Africa, of northern Africa, maybe over into South America. And then on the other side of the gray line, kind of almost east or east-southeast a little bit, across, uh, across Asia, which would basically mean uh, nor into the Russian part of Asia. So that was what I was expecting uh, with this experiment and what I was hunting for. So as the gray line came over, I have a pretty simple antenna, and uh, position-wise, it's probably in a great position also uh, for, for takeoff angle, or I shouldn't really say takeoff angle, it's horizontal positioning for right across the gray line here. And also with this, I would just be using my 20-watt uh, FX4CR transceiver. So I wanted to see what would happen, and it, much to what I thought would happen did. Made and really to start off with a really great QSO right into north northwestern Africa as I thought. And what was really cool though, this was all on the higher bands and, and what I experienced in the other you know the other way talking in North America. I have made some great gray line contacts into North America on 40, but I've also noticed that this far north, this phenomenon of the gray line seems to work also in the higher bands. So here's a, it was a Spanish contest going on this weekend, which was another great time for me. I could make some quick, really quick QSOs and kind of see which way I was going uh, with, uh, with my contacts. But to start it off, I made a really great contact into um, on 15 meters of all bands uh, at, as we were in the gray line uh, down to um, northwestern Africa. Sierra Papa Stroke Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Sierra Papa Stroke Kilo? Yes, yeah, Stroke Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, Roger. Roger, Roger, I'm in Poland. You're 5 9, number 2, number 2. Okay, uh, Sierra Papa Stroke Fox Kilo uh, 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. You are 5 9, 1 5 9. Thank you. It's uh, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, an American in Poland. Uh, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, uh, Sierra Papa uh, from Poland. What is my number, please? 
Your number is 002. Number two. Okay, thank you very much. And enjoy the time over there. Charlie, November 8th, Yankees, the captain. That was cool. You know, another thing I really noticed as I was getting, as I was tuning around the 15-meter band, I was picking up signals from South America as well. You know, it was a little hard with my 20 watts to get through to them, but I could hear them very well. And I, I made a shot and, and tried to make a QSO all the way down to Uruguay. Sierra, Papa, stroke K4 OGO. Santiago, Papa, stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. Sierra, Papa, stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. Sierra Papa Stroke Kilo Four Oscar Golf Oscar. Okay, that wasn't successful, but it, it shows you what I was receiving, and from a reception standpoint, uh, we were both in the gray line, and that was pretty incredible. What a distance! You know, that, that was like over seven thousand five hundred miles. Which um, on 15 meters at, at, at night per se, or going into the evening, that's pretty incredible and pretty cool. You know, looking back the other way now, aiming towards the for me looking east or east southeast in the gray line, started scanning around and sure enough, as I expected, made a pretty cool contact over on the Asia side of the gray line. Sugar Papa, stroke Kilo Four Oscar Golf Oscar. Papa. Sugar Papa, stroke Kilo Four Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo Oscar Oscar Kilo Oscar Oscar watches your leader Sierra Papa question. Kilo Oscar Oscar. Yes, Sierra Papa slash Kilo Four Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo Golf Oscar Kilo Golf Oscar. Kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar. I'm an American in Poland. Sierra Papa, one kilo Oscar, Roger. The Sierra Papa, stroke, kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar. I'm sorry. Kilo zero, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sierra Papa, clash. Kilo zero, golf, Ontario, Roger. No, Kilo 4, Ontario, Gulf, Ontario. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kilo, Sierra Papa, Skles, Kilo, uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, Gulf, Oscar, Roger. Roger, 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 you're 5 9, number 3, 0 0 QSL, thank you so much. 73. Good luck. United America 9, x Lima, contest. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, as you can see in my time here in Poland, people struggle with that call sign. And, I, and, and I, I get it. It is a tough one. Hey, it's tough when I don't have the sugar pop in front of it. I get golf, Oscar, golf, 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 Oscar, 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 golf. Oscar, Oscar, I get all kinds of uh, some crazy things, and, and it's, it's, it's nuts. It really is. You know, one thing, though, that was really cool, it was a great experience and a great experiment for me uh, doing that, and I really enjoyed, uh, you know, learning. It's kind of cool. I think one thing I do notice is that the gray line is somewhat unpredictable. It changes it, 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 as you're going through the normal four layers of uh, D, E, F1, F2, and that transition period into two layers of E and F, um, a lot goes on, and I think it, uh, it changes every day and every night. So I kind of, 
I hope I inspire you to go out and give us a try. Look for the gray line. Get out there and, and operate, especially low power. For me, that's a, another advantage. You know, I like to get out on the beach and use the salt water as a ground plane and get the advantage there. Another great advantage is the gray line. So if you're new to HF, it's a really good time to, to, to experiment. If you want to do a deep dive, I've just scratched the surface on this thing. If you really want to do a deep dive, there's some really good um, information on the uh, Radio Society of Great Britain's page. I'll put a link to it down below and you can check that out. Well, I'm about to leave Poland. I'm only going to be here a few more days and it doesn't look like I'll be back maybe in and out for a day or two for uh, uh, some quick work. But uh, my long term stays here is coming to an end and I've really enjoyed it and really have Learned a lot, man, working and operating at a different latitude at different times of the year than what I've done in the past few years in the States. It's really, it's taught me a lot, a, a lot about the atmosphere, band conditions and what goes on and propagation itself. So it's been a great experience for me and, um, and I'm ever so thankful that I got to do this. It was really nice. I hope you enjoyed the videos that I've made over the last year and a half as I've gone back and forth from the States to Poland. Um, don't know where I'm going next. I will start traveling somewhere else for work and uh, that hopefully that'll be a, a cool place where I can learn more and experience uh, ham radio, shortwave listening, AMDXing, everything about radio in a different location than my home QTH in uh, Virginia in the United States. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. I know um, there's, I, I tell this every time and I'll say it again, I'm not an expert, I'm learning, but you know what? You learn a lot by doing and that's what I'm trying to do. So come along with me and we'll learn together. Until next time, I'm Walt, signing off as Sugar Papa Stroke K4 OGO for probably the last time. So hope to see you soon. I'll be back in the States, back out on the beach and back having fun there playing radio. Till next time guys, 73.